Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1580, and it's not really very puzzling. We've got 40 moves to reach 10,000 points, so obviously that's not the issue. It's collecting all of the jelly trapped under this popcorn and these spawners and this chocolate. So we have to try to remove the chocolate as quickly as we can to get to the spawners. We want to try attacking one spawner over and over if we can. If I can't make an attack here, I'm going to look and see are there any ranged attacks I can make. Now, hitting the popcorn isn't horrible. It's just probably not extremely helpful because everything's just going to be consumed, oops, hello, consumed by chocolate. Any color bomb that I produce here before I get a chance to detonate it with any color, it's probably going to be consumed. But it doesn't hurt striking down here, so that's what we'll keep working on. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer. And this is nice. This is a little bit of luck, and I tell you what, you need luck on this board. If you aren't getting luck on your own, um, you can see I don't have all my lives left yet because I've been unlucky on some of these. Well, bring in some manufactured luck. Bring in some boosters that'll help you. Notice I'm striking ranged attack, direct attack, anything I can. I probably do not have the ability to set this up with another special, so I'm going to take out everything orange. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. Speaking of ranged attacks, hey, you are not supposed to slide over. All right, now I'll take out everything orange and concentrate the colors and try to make some more moves down here. That ranged attack isn't going to work very well because it's poised over nothing. All right, so looking at opportunities. Oh, well, I wanted to make a color bomb, but that's actually better. Getting down here and having one of those detonate, not a bad thing. Uh, taking this directly over a spawner instead of a popcorn, that's the way we want to do it. I really want those to work together. Can't seem to do it, but I'm going to have this detonate right here between these two. I'm going to try to bring this down and have it detonate at least once over here. While this is available, clear some things out. Okay, I can make this combo, which would take out this chocolate or I can strike directly onto one of the spawners, and that's what I always need to opt for, unless there's a really good reason not to. And heading toward the central ones helps to create a... Um, Oh, let's see, let me think about this for a moment. Helps helps to create a cascading effect, like a domino effect on both sides. I see a few different things I can try for this or the color bomb, and I need to get down here, and this is already set up. I'm going to go with the most immediate. That gave me a color bomb. Now I'm going to use the color bomb to take out everything orange that will detonate this and help me get close to these spawners. Did I say take out a... I might be saying take out color bombs when I mean take out spawners. I lose track because I get so involved. Oh, let's see. We have to get down there. Oh, here. This green will help. <laughs> we have very few moves left, but we have very little to do now. So we're just about there. Let's see. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this out, which is going to 
take this out, which is going to take this out, and hopefully we're going to get really close to taking this out here with our very limited time. Okay, here we go. So we used a booster, but I'm not opposed to that. You got a hard level and you're really close to beating it. Use the tools in your toolbox and get it taken care of. So that's how I beat this level. If you want to challenge me to um, beat it without boosters, put that in the comment section. I'll just have to play it a few more times and get a little extra luck on a board. If you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.